Stop right there. Yeah? Stop right there, my laddie. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick? It's a fine day. That is your cup holders. You know normally is wasted space? Bam. That is ingenious. So, what do we have here? We have a Panamera 4 e-hybrid Sport Turismo. I know that's a mouthful, but it's got a lot of, lot, a lot of fun bits all attached to it. Okay, so what I see for this thing here is the ultimate family wagon. This is, no, that didn't work. Ready? Soft touch doors, holy shit. Really, really like it. With this process that they've set up through here, it's kind of, all this amazing technology that was in the 918, they've transformed it into these new models of cars. So it's an electric engine, um, putting out about 100 kilowatts. You've got a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6, traditional style that is in here as well. And you think, okay, it's electric. So the way that you know, cars are going for the future, there will be more and more electric. And what Porsche has done, I want to bring you around, is some pretty amazing features. So, we're in electric mode right now. Turn it off. Okay, here's the car. Hold it. You didn't hear anything, but the car is actually on. It's in an electric mode. This little switch at the dial here. Okay, now we're gonna click it into hybrid. We've got Sport and Sport Plus. Let's, let's bugger off Sport and just go straight to Sport Plus. Bam pretty epic and now we think of it as an all petrol internal combustion engine that gives the electronic side of things as additional power extra torque extra 100 kilowatts and a fun little fact about this one you got this little 20 second button you hit that and it gives you 20 seconds of full available power so you need to kick it into the right lane past someone or put your foot down because you're a hooligan um, you know you've got that availability to do that there casual Friday too bad it's Tuesday. <laughs> Acid green. Acid green. I don't know, who gets the name, the colour of acid? Oh, I get it now, because that's actually the colour of acid. Stop! <laughs> okay, more, more acid green. This is like a telltale sign that it's one of the hybrids, because that thing there is actually charging charging the electric engine as you're braking. Shit, that's amazing. Okay. Porsche. Distinctively Porsche. Acid green! <laughs> and a spoiler too, like. Yes, this is low slung. Yes, it is sick, but it's got also a spoiler and it has to keep you down on the ground. Okay, so you've got your rev counter in the middle. I think it's perfect, because this is a purebred sports car. Don't forget, it's a Porsche you're talking about right now. And the, the rev meter is right in front of you. The nav man to the right where the rev meter used to be, and then the speedo to the left. Um, you have still have your Ks right in front of you. So your rev limiter and your Ks right in front of you. You've got a Tiptronic sort of uh, gearbox here with the flappy paddle shifts. You don't have to click it away into manual mode for it to be able to use the drop down. But I don't think you buy this car for it to be the race driven sports car. I think you've got the perfect synergy uh, as the ultimate family wagon with race pedigree, sports dynamics built into a car. It's got a huge boot. You've got five seats, you've got five doors. It's pretty much the ideal scenario for a family. If you want to go away, if you want to surf, you can put your surfboard in the back. I think it's great. Really appreciate a fine engineering. You've got your heads up display that is completely customizable. You know, so right now we can click into, you know, um, the different ways so we get your ride heights so your air spring heights so we can go to lift there we go up we come just a touch of a button two absolutely gargantuan sunroofs here and the tint that's on them doesn't it's like you can have your here we go this is the sheets 
know, the material based one, but it's complete block out, which I think is super important to have a sunroof that's still not, a lot of the sunroofs that you see, they have like a shading or a netting across the top and they let in too much light still. Uh, if you want to have uh, the, the sunroof open, well, that's great. You actually want the light, but if you want it closed, you have it closed. I can't speak highly enough about it. You either love the looks or you don't like the looks, because remember you are in a station wagon and that's either something that you you love um, but I'd like you to I'd like to challenge you if you're in the market for a, for a, for a car that is family orientated or adventure orientated please take a look at this because far out it's amazing <laughs>